In my head, this is gonna work really well. We're getting a little better. There we go. For better or for worse, I've never seen anything like that before. Man, look how well that grub swims. <laughs> what a crazy fight. Welcome back everybody to the world's worst fishing. I'm Chris Jones. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm really excited about this video. I have not touched the wood in quite a while, but today we're going to, and it's going to be a little teeny tiny piece of wood. We're going to try to make a wooden jig, okay? It's probably more like a football jig, but instead of just a lead jig head up front, it's going to be wooden and airbrushed, painted. Probably a really simple paint job, I, I don't know yet. You've seen the thumbnail by now, so you know more than I do at this point. Um, but this is gonna be really fun, and when I came up with this idea, it was um, with the mindset of trying to combine a saw plastic with wooden. So basically, I was like, if I can make a wooden jig, I can throw a saw plastic on the back of that jig and sort of combine the two into one bait. And that's what we're gonna try to do today. All right, everybody, so here's what I'm thinking in my head. Um, basically, I've already cut out this little tiny piece of basswood here. And I'm pretty much just gonna draw an oval on it. And we're just gonna start cutting corners away and try to turn this into a circular oval shape round piece of wood. And basically try to make a, a jig head. And then we're going to, let me get it, put it on a swim bait hook. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, if I can get these open, here's what I'm trying to imagine. I've got my hook here. I'm basically just gonna put the, the wooden jig head over this part, all right? And then I'll put a little spring out the back side, and then I will affix some hardware to the front of it. So we're not actually gonna use this right here to tie a line to. That's gonna be inside the wood. We'll put something else on there, but imagine a wooden ball on the front of this, and then the weight, since it's wood, it's obviously not going to be heavy like a jig head, so we need some sort of weight on there. That's why we're putting it on a weighted swim bait hook, and it'll sit more like this and not like this, like a traditional jig, you know, because the weight's not gonna be on the front, but I think it's still gonna be pretty cool and I don't know, I think it'll be interesting, and that's what it's all about, it's just having fun. I'm not a wooden bait uh, guru at all. I've only made just a handful of them. But when I had this idea, I said, that'll be fun. Uh, it'll be an interesting video. I've never done anything like it, and we'll see if we can make it work. All right, we're just gonna start whittling away. Only thing I know, know what to do. You know, we might can just kind of use the knife to at least get started rounding some edges here. You know, because this piece of wood is so small, I can't really get much of a grip to uh, use the knife with, and I don't want to cut myself. So, baby steps. But I should be able to finish this thing today. Like, it really should not take more than, more than one day to whittle down a, a little ball of wood. Okay, I said screw it. We are now just attempting to round <laughs> round this round this thing out here. Just rotating it and sanding. Putting a little elbow grease into it. So we're trying to start rounding some edges and uh, I don't have tools really capable of doing that so just using my phalanges and some sandpaper all right it's looking a little bit more rounded still pretty rough but we're getting there this uh, has been quite a challenge by hand but we're gonna keep on grinding you know what this is starting to look like to me is a little bird's egg. 
That's what it looks like to me. In my head, this is gonna work really well. But for right now, that's only in my head. We're getting a little better. I probably just could have bought a round piece of wood from Hobby Lobby. But where's the fun in that? All right, my little robin egg is starting to look pretty refined. And now comes the hard part. I now need to saw this in half, cut it in half, so that I can inlay this hook. And you know, I originally kind of wanted to get this a little bit smaller, but I kind of still need it big enough that, that I can work with it. You know, I'm not, I'm just simply not good enough at this stuff to whittle this down to, you know, the size of a small blueberry. Um, but I think it will actually still look pretty good um, once the soft plastic is on. But uh, now comes the hard part, so let's see if we can pull it off. All right, we're gonna give it a shot. Here we go. Try to get it started. And it's okay if it's not perfect. I have to keep telling myself that. There we go. All right, we've got it about there. Boom. Now comes the part uh, that might mess me up, but we'll see what happens. So basically, I need to like whittle out a section where I can um, fit this hook in, just like that. So it's like I almost kind of want to sort of trace the outline of this hook a little bit. If y'all can see that, you know, I basically need to now whittle that out, so to speak. And this hook will kind of fit in there and the outside on the gap there will be kind of flush with the edge of it. So what I've done is I've marked where the two halves actually fit back together and then I sanded those down to where they will fit smoothly. So now I kind of know we're not going to actually use that that we just did. Um, but now I know where these where these line up and uh, and then I can carve out appropriately and then it will fit back together a little bit smoother than if those were off, you know, since the two halves aren't exactly identical, uh, I just wouldn't line up as well. So this way, I know that the wood grain is in line and everything is lining up. Okay, I figured out a way to do this very efficiently and quickly. Heat. We're going to heat the hook and literally burn this hook imprint into the wood leaving the perfect amount of space, okay? So, very carefully, this is what we're doing. Melts right into it. And now we have, cut this off, the exact, oops, uh, size hole that we need. Just like that. And there we go. That is exactly what we wanted. And once we super glue this together, <laughs> it didn't quite line up, but that's pretty good for never doing anything like that ever before. Um, yeah, I like it. And then what we're gonna do is, check this out. We are going to put a little spring in it, okay? To mount a plastic. Then we will put some hardware on the front side for uh, your line tie. So this is sort of the direction that we're headed. All right, so I have it in the vise, super glued together. Same thing I use on my uh, swim bait eyes. <laughs> Loctite super gel. We're going to hope that does the trick. 
and uh, we have it in the vise just to keep it shut while it cures. All right, now we're gonna attempt to put the lion tie in there. So let's hope we don't mess it up. Alrighty. Okay, just a little bit of uh, super glue again. Some Loctite gel. And we're going to twist it on in. And she'll be set. It's getting exciting, you guys. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing this thing. Alrighty, I think we're gonna stop it there. Well, for better or for worse, I've never seen anything like that before. Not too terrible. We're going to, um, we're probably gonna sand it a little bit more, clean things up a little bit more, and uh, then we just need to figure out what we wanna paint this thing. <laughs> See, it's gonna sit like this. It's, it's not gonna sit up, because the weight's not in the head. It's gonna sit like that. If I was a little bit more experienced um, with wood, you know, I would have tried to put the weight in the head like I mentioned. And looking back, I probably could have figured out a way. Um, but this is a good start, you know. This is something different. And uh, I'm really excited to see it with a soft plastic on. But we need to paint this first. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to dab it in super glue just to kind of seal the wood. Um, and then we're going to work on some paint. Okay, now it's time to airbrush this thing, and we're going to do a black base, okay? All right, some wicked black. But we're also going to add some hyper shift to it, similar to how we would uh, if we were making soft plastics. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of ZTG and mix it in, and then mix in just a little bit of tiny silver flake and hopefully this looks okay. Okay, here we go. We actually swapped it out for some little micro hologram flake. Let's see what happens. It's not wanting to spray. Okay, yeah, there we go. Just gonna keep it simple, just one solid color. Hopefully it looks okay. Okay, this is natural lighting and you can see it basically just looks black. That is not at all what, we want it to look more like my fingers there. See how you can see the green? So we need a lot more color shift. All right, isn't that a little bit better? Here it is outside. You still really can't see the hologram flake on camera, um, but inside, uh, in artificial lighting, it kind of comes across a little bit better. So yeah, pretty neat. Yeah. A hyper shift wooden jig. So I think we're going to go with that. We're going to clear coat it with epoxy and go from there. All right, since I couldn't get the flake to really show up, it actually did spray through the gun. It was just so small that it's hardly even there. We're going to use some larger silver flake in our epoxy clear coat here, which will kind of be all around the bait. So we're just going to get this on here. We're going to smooth it out with the heat gun, and uh, we should have a nice little... Sorry about the focus, you guys. I'm watching what I'm doing instead of the camera, and that's not good. Okay, and here it is all finished. Nice little hyper shift. So now we're gonna make some skirts and grubs to match. All right, so the skirts are just gonna be clear plastic with lots of silver flake, which will kind of complement the silver flake in the jig. I still don't really know what color I'm going to do for the actual uh, grub itself, but we'll get there when we get there. All right, there are the skirts. 
I think that'll look really cool. And uh, we're gonna run a few more of these off camera, then we're gonna work on the actual grubs. Okay, and for the grubs, I just went straight black with, again, that silver flake. So uh, I guess we're going dark and silver flake for the whole thing. All right, now we're going to fuse these together. There we go. Well, would you look at that? That is actually not terrible. And even though the jig head is very big, it actually looks pretty in line. It, it's, uh, but I think because that skirt's on there, it adds mass to this front section, so that doesn't look just horrendously large. Um, I'm digging it. Got the hypershift green head. Got our uh, silver flake skirt, and then our black with silver flake bait. Wooden bait fused with uh, soft plastic bait. All, all made right here. I love it. All right. Now we're going to take it fishing. All right. Here it is in the water. So you can see it kind of sinks belly first. Hop it along the bottom there. Man, look how well that grub swims. That's pretty cool. I dig it. All right, proof that I'm actually throwing this. Here we go. <laughs> Make a cast. I hired a professional, Norm. So Barely. <laughs> he's, he's actually here filming a different video for him in the same day, so. We'll see how it goes. Oh, all right, I hit the dock. We're gonna pull it off the dock. Boom, right into the water. That, Eight pounder. that was beautiful. Hey, if it was last spring, I'd get bit on this cast. They were on every single dock here. Nothing. And on the banks everywhere, too. Yeah, nothing, dude. Come on, bro. Oh. Keep hearing all these great stories about how it was back About then. how it used to be. How it yeah. used to be, how it was, how all these things. Welcome to fishing in America. <laughs> it's always what if. <laughs> and. Once upon a time. Once upon a time, that's the thing. Once upon a time. You know, back in my day, it's I would never now. I got a, I got my little film 40 pound pound bag. This is beautiful. It's like I know these dogs get fished a lot, but not with a homemade wooden jig. Very true. You know, that that has not happened today. Nobody has thrown this here. Not with a skirted grub on it. Very good point. Oh, you're dude. good, you're good. <laughs> dude, this is a big bass. We just gotta get it in. Dude, dude this, this has been like a minute fight. This is like eight pound line. <laughs> yeah, my bad, my bad. Golly. Dude, dude, I told you they all feel like giants. Dude, that might be a four or five pounder. I barely saw them. Golly. It might be bigger than that. <laughs> what a crazy fight. You want me to grab him or you got him? Uh, it's all you if you all right. if you want it. I got you. This is not on the jig that I need it to be on, <laughs> but it's a fish. Good. Jeez, <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh, on, fish. It's big. <laughs> this, dude, this is a big bass. That's bigger. That's bigger than four pounds. Ah, that's a nice one. Oh, oh. Oh, right. my bad, my bad. Hold on. Got her? Got her? <laughs> Dude, your hook! Look at that, ready? Oh no way! <laughs> oh, oh. The, the Cinco came off too. That is a tank. Dude, if she'd have bit, if she'd have jumped one more time, I'd have been toast. <laughs> that was epic. All right, well, Mike Iaconelli says never give up. There we go. A whole lap around this whole entire lake. This is like the only fish so far. And it's not even on the bait that I need to be throwing. That's how mm -hmm. that's how bad the fishing has been today. I need to throw it on the jig that I made. But yep. I had I had to abandon that and just pick up a Senko or a stick worm. Nice. All right, well, let me show y'all what we caught her on. All right, guys, so even though you're watching this video on my channel, uh, The Wooden Jig, uh, Norm is actually here also filming for his channel, and we remelted a bunch of Guggen baits for him and made these stick worms. And I guess the fish threw it off, but just a melted Guggen bait remelt stick worm, wacky rigged, and uh, yeah, that's like a five pounder. So te Jeez. technically, Norm's fish fishing challenge is complete because there was a fish Very caught true. on the baits. 
that are made in his video, he just didn't catch it, but it still counts in, in my book. Yeah, because oh, I mean, because I mean, the, the, bait, the, the bait still works. <laughs> it still worked. Like he basically just took a bunch of different Guggen colors, put them all in one pot, and there you go. All right, so I'm going back to the homemade wooden jig. I've actually thrown it a lot. I just don't want to bore you guys with footage of me not catching anything on it. So I just caught that big one on the uh, sick worm. So my confidence is a little bit better now. So I'm going to stick with this for a few minutes and uh, hope we can pull a Hail Mary here because it's been a slow bite. No way. Oh, oh golly, oh. that felt like a bite, son, on this jig. I, I, I'd be real surprised if that was not a bite. Like that was, that was freaking squirrely. What was that? Okay. I mean, you just, you can't force a big fish like oh, that. Hold up. Oh, I don't know if it's going to come on this Oh, it is. Got him. Got it him. is. Got him. Are you recording? Norm's oh on. my gosh. Norm's on. Seiko, finally. Norm's on. Oh, oh, there we go. I'll take it. I'll take it, man. That's no daisy. Get him. <laughs> Boom. Yes, dude. Right in the corner by the tree in the dock. All Guys, right. I've made probably 500 casts today. At least. Boom. No five pounder, but I will take any fish. Yeah. There you go. All right, everybody. One more look at this big sow here. All right. Norm's got, yeah. Norm's got his fish. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, there we go. Maybe she'll swim up under the trailer. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh, oh whoa, <laughs> whoa. All right, yeah, there we awesome. Go. All right, well, it's kind of a nasty, rainy, dreary day today. So I'm glad we did our fishing trip yesterday. Uh, did not catch one on the jig. Um, in all fairness, nothing was, uh, was really working. Uh, our only two fish came on weightless stickworms, like the most non-aggressive finesse presentation we can pretty much do here in florida around all this grass um, i mean they wouldn't touch anything moving nothing top water um, no spinner baits no swim baits no alabama rigs nothing was working they wouldn't hit a uh, a jerk bait a rattle trap zilch nathan nada so uh the fact that we got those two bites actually i guess was pretty good uh, the jig uh, actually looked incredible. I, I was able to get a little bit of underwater footage there. Um, it's got a nice kind of slow fall to it. I really thought around those docks was my best shot. You know, we didn't catch a single fish off a dock. Um, didn't get a single bite off a dock. So just the wrong day to be out, I guess, but that's how it goes. Um, but I've still got it tied on and wherever I go next, I'm, I'm going to keep throwing it. Um, that's one of my favorite baits I've actually made, funny enough. So I'm definitely going to give it um, a, a lot more chances to get a bite. And uh, hopefully that happens. I don't know when I'll get to go fishing next. It is Christmas break, so maybe soon. Maybe I can get a fish on it soon. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you all enjoyed the video. Something kind of different, wood and soft plastic in one bait. Uh, I thought it'd be cool to try to combine the two. And that's kind of what I came up with. You know, you could always make some sort of bait with like a soft plastic tail on it, but that's been done before. Um, so this was just something goofy that I thought uh, I would I would do. So thank you guys for watching. Shoot me lots of comments down below. Oh, my hair's a mess. But um, yeah, we'll see you next time. And thanks for being here.